Got them a bunch of cokes here, and uh, just ingredients around here everywhere. This corn and the shrimp, I'm about to do, and I need those small potatoes. Where are they at, right there? I'm gonna do a uh, Cajun style shrimp bowl with them. So Melinda's gonna take those inside, and I'm gonna cook them in there in a pot. Mm. Hello, Rose. Everybody's just here enjoying and chilling out. And Mr. Mop Mop. Mr. Mop Mop, he is over here cooking KBL. Yes. Here he is again cooking KBL. I say it and I say it again, nothing goes to waste here. This is our old soft cocoa lumber that ain't no good to use because it's just hollow and mushy. We cook with it. Whatever bamboo's left over, we cook with it or they cook with it at their houses. Got some jackfruit going right here. Oh, the little seasonings. Boy, it smells good over here, I know that. Ah, nah, I'm so full already. <laughs> white daddy, huh? Daddy white? Yes, daddy white. Oh, <laughs> uh, let me see here. I got it. They're going to do a little karaoke time. So as soon as I turn this volume up, the video is going to stop. Man, it is pouring down rain. So I'm gonna get busy cooking up some Cajun style shrimp right here, a little shrimp ball. Make a little bit of uh, shrimp ball here. We got me some zatarans for that crab ball, as it's called. Of course, we're using shrimp. Crab ball, shrimp ball, you know, look here. Actually, crawfish, shrimp, and crab ball in a bag. That's a bag full of seasoning. Of course, I've got some slap your mama as well. I'm probably gonna use both, just to tell you the truth. Put some of these little small potatoes in there. Corn on the cob. And these nice shrimp right here. When I start boiling that water, I like to put some olive oil in there. That gives those shrimp a nice little uh, buttery-like taste too. And they seem to peel a little bit better as well. Makes the corn and everything taste good. You just can't go wrong with some olive oil. In fact, I'm so convinced I'm gonna add more. Yeah can't go wrong with a little olive oil so we'll get this to rolling up here and uh, you got to kind of stage this I'm gonna have to put yeah I'm dealing with them singing outside that is the way it is today you're gonna put your thing it's gonna take the longest to cook in there first probably gonna be your potatoes so you're gonna put your potatoes in there after this comes to a ball you're gonna cook those get them started anyway just wait a few minutes then add your corn let that cook up and before it's all cooked you don't want to overcook your potatoes they'll turn all mushy inside of there 
then throw in your shrimp. But make sure that your water's returned back to a good ball when you put your shrimp in. And uh, those shrimp only take just a few minutes to cook. When you overcook them, they're actually harder to peel. They taste more rubbery and you kill the flavor in them. So, so many people, and I know it happens a lot here, overcook those shrimp. They overcook the squid and they overcook the shrimp. Those two things right there are fast cookers. So got the Zatarans right here. See, that Zatarans, it is a bag full of seeds and spice. You see that? Get that dropped on in there and let it start flavoring that water up. And I'm gonna go ahead and put you know, it's kind of redundant, but I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of this uh, Slap Your Mama as well. Both have their own unique flavors. This here is definitely got more flavor to it than the Zatarans, but the Zatarans does its own unique thing. So I'm going to add just a little bit more. Kick it in the ass real good right there. Mixed up really good. Now one more thing here that I, that I like to put in there, but I don't have. Or really, I like to put oranges in there. Um, lemons are also good. I don't have either one, but what I have is the next best thing, and that's calamansi. Calamansi, however you want to say it, here from the Philippines. It's a small little citrus that looks kind of like a key lime. The unique thing about those is they have the sweetness like an orange and almost an orange flavor and they also have the the tanginess of like a lime or a lemon at the same time so you kind of get both right there so that's what i'm going to do is put some of them in here squeeze them and i'm going to drop the whole thing in I squeeze some of those calamances in here. I kind of threw them on top of that seasoning bag just so you can see them without dumping them down in the water. But I just like, I like to put the rind and everything in there. Same thing with an orange or a lemon, just drop it all. Let this come up to a good ball. Then I'll put these uh, potatoes and the corn in. Actually, I probably, I think I'm gonna put these corn first. These potatoes are pretty small. That skin, now cook pretty fast. This corn, that's probably what I want to cook down the most. kicked in gear right there in overdrive so it's time to put this corn in here heck yeah I mean it is an overdrive that is one thing I will say about this stove the high burners on this joker are high burners now <laughs> you want to boil up a pot man you can boil up a pot on here it don't mess around and it's got even a bigger one in the middle and heck the these already got pretty big flames going. So I'm gonna put this corn in here. Then I'll do two batches of this ball. So I'll do one batch first. I'm gonna let that corn get started first. Let that ball get back return. Hey Joel, well he loves the karaoke, doesn't he? <laughs> I said and y'all can karaoke here. <coughs> Man, it did not even take them two seconds to head straight for that, boy. I knew Joel would be on it, boy. Look at this.
Good little old ball back. I'm telling you now, that's one thing about this stove, even though I complain on it. That joker, definitely, for balling, man, he don't mess around. Folks, I'm gonna go ahead and start dropping some of these taters in there. Man, Melinda, she's been around long enough for this game. She got me the perfect size taters there too. It's not those good old reds like I like in the U.S. I like those. I like those reds pretty well. And again, I'll save enough of these for a second batch too. Daniel, I hope you're enjoying watching all this, knowing you brought some happiness here on the other side of the world today. I mean, you really made these guys happy, and I don't mind putting in the effort here to cook it all up for them. Appreciate your kindness, sir. Appreciate it very much. Yes, even including me suffering through this karaoke. <laughs> if my ears didn't already hurt, they do now. Man. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know what? All this work right here. Oh man, it brings up a thirst. Stand over a hot stove, cooking up Cajun food. It's that time. You know what time it is. Well, this is rolling up pretty good here. Rolling up really good. I'm going to check and see if I can get my hands on one of those potatoes. I don't mean I'm literally going to put my hand on it. I just want to see the condition they're in. <laughs> the, the corn's trying to climb out of my... You can't get it. There we go. All right, well, it is time to throw some shrimp in here. They're playing a little Eric Clapton out there, and I said, man, I know I'm going to get slapped down with a copyright if I record this little shrimp session with that going on. Oh, man, look at that. So don't drop your shrimp in all frozen <laughs> into the water for frozen shrimp. Of course, you want to keep them cool. You don't want them to spoil. But you're going to shock your water pretty good when you drop these cool shrimp in there. Leave me enough for a second batch. This will all return to a ball here in just a minute. There we go. It's all in there. See, this will come right back to a quick ball here pretty soon. Oh boy, now you see they're all floated up on top now. They're trying to tell you something right there. They're trying to tell you they're done swimming and they want to get out and towel off that they're tired of playing. Yeah, these babies are done. They are done, done. It's time for this batch to come out and another batch to go in. Well, there's the first batch right there. Man, look at that. What do you think about that? Get my second batch going here. Me and I don't have an appropriate pot in here. Actually, tell the truth, we got great big pots and they're out there. They like to use them. They're aluminum. I don't use aluminum. I don't like to eat from aluminum. Uh, every once in a while I will if they have some dish out there. But I'm, I'm anti against aluminum, so me, I'm in here and I cook with stainless steel. Well, I don't have an extra hand to hold the camera here right now, but I'm going to tell you, I just peeled a couple of these shrimp, give them a go, and man, the peel just came off nice and perfect and clean, effortless, because I didn't overcook them, and that olive oil really helps that out a lot. 
Okay, I just tried 15 more of them to make sure they peeled okay. And I'm gonna tell you, they're still peeling really good. I'll give you the next update later. <laughs> that what they call Buddha fight style. Now Buddha fight style here in the Philippines, they have a table and they'll put like banana leaves down and they'll dump the food all down the middle of the table. Now back home with these crab balls and shrimp balls and crawfish balls, we do the same thing. But the thing here is, is it is just this crazy madness everybody trying to grab and I'm gonna get all the bites before somebody else and I hadn't experienced that back in the US you know there in Texas man we get out tables we put some trash cans around or some five gallon buckets and we'll throw out some old newspaper or something on the tables and and or a piece of plastic dump all that out everybody gets around they got a cold beer man we'll eat a little talk chit chat peeling talking it's all calm and cool and good time maybe some music playing get the kids some peel some for the children no rush it's not that here it is not that here it is a freaking frenzy man so i told melinda we will not do a boodle fight that is just ridiculous it's like a race and they're laughing about it and then it's just all over it's a it's a three four max five minute event and it's over and then they're looking for the rum yeah i ain't gonna spend that kind of time and my money or anybody else's money for it to be over with just like that and uh or me being in a, in a frenzy trying to get my little share too because you have to also do what they're doing or you're not gonna get none so it's smart to be a slit little cat put some over in a pot for yourself <laughs> uh, then just have at it y'all want to gulp it in two seconds go for it all right well it's show time again time to bring this on out there to them Linda said the rest of the foods on the table so I'm gonna drop it and run and get out of the way cuz I don't want to lose my finger so what we got the KBL going right here yes What's over here in this one? Fish, uh, rice. Oh, uh, some rice from, that was from earlier today, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And the Cokes here. What's we got going here? Oh, more rice, huh? And the fish, and the pork, and what we got here? Chicken is here, though. It's only one time. Macaroni. Oh, you got the chicken underneath there, too? Yeah. So you mean the pigs are laying on top of the chicken? Yeah. Oh, man, somebody's already been digging in that. Yeah, I don't know who the one did. <laughs> As you know, one of our subscribers watching you work hard all the time watching me give all these tips wanted to reward you guys so daniel from tennessee is the one that sent us the money and to treat you all for this thank you sir daniel <laughs> and of course ammon never says nothing he's a quiet person that's yeah that's the ones you gotta watch right there silent wait is it silent but slick <laughs> All right, well then, who's going to lead prayer here? Who's gonna, Marlon. Marlon's going to lead the prayer. You're you're the one. I done called it. Yeah. I'm shy. Uh, no shy. No shy. You got this. Man, big, strong security guard. Man. Man. Lord <laughs> So, kabay lang at agad, hindi mo pang mayat na lawas pag mayat na kabuhi. Salamat po. Amen. Amen. Thank you. We'd like to say thank you, Sir Daniel. Thank you. Thank you. Let's eat. Yeah, let's dig in. Balak na dito na ko yung madam. Ahm. Where is Mak Mak? 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 Where is Mak Mak?
Spicy. Here comes the rain again. It is a blessing. I'm telling you, I'm not complaining at all. I'm happy it's raining. KBL right there.